guys happy halloween um and i have been ill recently so excuse the croaky throat if it sounds croaky i don't know um so today is halloween and i am going to be doing pumpkin carving um so i've got my pumpkin and i have a picture that i'm going to carve onto it and yeah, first I need to gut it. Get rid of its guts. So, let's go. Pumpkin. Um, so, um, I have my stuff for carving in here. I have some tissues there for... One, I'm going to clean it quick. Because it, something was spilt on it. Um, and then also, when I do the design and it starts to like weep, it like creates like some kind of liquid I need to wipe it off with this otherwise the design I won't be able to follow the design properly it will smudge it and then I have a knife a spoon for carving it out and I know it looks tiny but it's actually really good so you don't have to make a like a massive hole in the top of the pumpkin and then a pin for the design as well so they can stay in there for a minute actually no because the guts are going to go in here I'll stick the pin in the top of the pumpkin okay this is our gut bucket and here's our pumpkin. So this is going to be the front, this side. So, because I just need to... Hmm. Should I just roughly do it? Or should I just... It kind of has a shape to it already. I'll get a pencil. Do you think this could be big enough? Maybe a bit more out here. Wait, which is going to be the front? Maybe this bit should be the front. Hmm. Yeah, this bit should be the front, so it needs to start here. That is totally the front of the pumpkin, but it's all messed up. Because, like, the way the stalk goes, that's the front, but it's all messed up, so... So hard to draw on pumpkins. I don't think that's going to be big enough. Maybe I should just do a circle. I'll just do a circle. Let's just do a circle anyway. Um, okay. So you need to kind of angle it inwards as well so that um, then it won't fall in on itself. We just kind of do it at an angle. I think I've done this too small. It keeps cutting weird. This is not my favourite knife. My other, uh, my favourite knife is dirty, but they used this for carving yesterday, so my siblings did it. Jeez. It's kind of gone straight down now, but... This knife is rubbish. Oops, this has gone straight down. Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay, which is 
the front here. Okay. Now I'm gonna time lapse scooping out the insides. Okay, so now we need to see whether I've carved out enough. So I have a little candle. I just want to make sure it glows. Um, a match. Yeah, it's not enough. Okay. Mm. I wasn't able to light the candle, but um, it, with putting the um, match in, it's not carved out enough yet. So, more scraping. <laughs> okay, so I checked it and it's glowing now, so I just carved more out of it. And um, now I'm going to put my design on it. Um, so, <laughs> this is my design. The Vampire Diaries. Um... I've been watching it while carving it actually. And yeah. It's not that flat. I mean, this side would be better, but it's so marked um, that it won't work anyway. Okay. So I saw the picture online and then I just put it on this piece of paper. So I copied the picture from just Google or whatever it was, and then put it on put it on clear paper, and then I just and then I uh, attached it to the pumpkin, and yeah, and then outline it kind of. This is going to be difficult, so I think I need to put a cut in here, and in here, maybe even just cut that bit off, and then I need to put a cut like in here or something, and I cut kind of in here, you got to kind of make sure it can fit round the pumpkin properly, um, and then I have some tape. Hold it in place. It's so much easier, but anyway. Okay, so here's the design, kind of, it's really hard to fit it on a round pumpkin, but I think I did quite a good job. And then all I do is get the pin, and wherever I'm going to cut it, it's going to be a pinhole, like that, just everywhere.
I've finally done all the dots. It took ages, like literally ages. So I'm gonna peel it off. And hopefully it's worked. I really hope so. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. I'm not sure if you can see, but it has worked. Oh my God, you literally can't see. They're tiny. But there you go, in the light. You can see. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be so difficult. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get carving this in a minute. Okay, so I have this. I have the knife just for carving if I need it. I have a scalpel, so it's like a little blade. And it has these different um, things that you put on it. And one of them's kind of like a chisel. And so that's what I use to do. I use the chisel for it, so. You have like this pack, and then it has a small chisel bit. And then you just put it in and tighten it. There you go. And then you can just chisel around it, and then obviously the pin as well. Because I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to do the writing first. Yeah. So, let's see. So this is what I've done so far. I decided I'm not going to film all of it because I can't get an angle where you can actually see it anyway. I had to come downstairs because my mum's got to go out and pick Casey up. And so I'm looking after Alana down here and I'm just going to finish carving their bodies, like the, the people in it, um, and their faces and everything. And then I will maybe scoop it out a tiny bit more so it glows. And then we'll put the candle on and I'll show you guys when I'm when I'm done carving.